arrival at the secret location, the audience was greeted by one of Anthony Lister's signature theatrical entrances. Smoke gently billowed from the doorway, intermittently illuminated by the strobe lights that pulsed offensively from inside. A thick black curtain shields the view into the space gallery and operates as a gateway one must pass through to transcend into the headhunter exhibit. Walking through this carefully orchestrated scene strangely resembles the feeling of excitement one feels after a magician disappears in a cloud of smoke and waiting for the finale of his act. Soft piano music fills the space of an industrial warehouse dominated by commemorative headless sculptures. The sculptures thoughtfully placed throughout the space, standing silently as a powerful reminder of darker, colonial times, during which unreal crimes were punished with equally unimaginable sentences. The music carried throughout the space, circling the dark steel totemic sculptures, composing a dichotomy of beauty and tragedy. Captivating paintings resembling bones and abstract shapes decorate the black sculptures in a combination of what resembles historic motives and artists' own patterns. The versatile sculptures constructions appear at first instance as randomly placed parts forming abstract monuments. However, the layout encourages viewers to explore the sculptures from different perspectives and discover these headless figures themselves. Upon further examination it becomes apparent that each sculpture forms several postures, each visible from a particular angle. In a far left corner of the room, strategically positioned, stand two dominant sculptures, a soldier holding a colonial rifle standing next to his headless horse, strictly, silently guarding or perhaps even dictating the entire room. Adorning the walls, opposite the headless sculpture parade is an installation of elegant resin face masks in black and metallic acrylic paint, displayed in an uneven ten. The mask symbolizes a celebration of a dark victory, after a successful haunt. Positioned on the on the final wall is perhaps the most significant work of the first room. A large canvas portraying a dark figure with wearing a menacing clown face surveys the room. This overwhelming painting captivates viewers with its deep melancholic and emotional composition. The canvas serves as tribute and celebration of a life of the artist's beloved friend Magnus McTavish. Directly between Magnus and installation of masks, is an opening partially obstructed by theatrically constructed prison bars. One must squeeze through in bars in accordance to enter the second part of the exhibition. Horripulent yet poetic annotations are marked on the bars and floor, accompanying the step into the enlightenment as a last reminder of the Han, the hard times and punishment. The Headhunter exhibition is a manifestation of Anthony Lister's ideology, polemization, about right and wrong, good and evil. Over the years, Anthony has transitioned into a multidisciplinary contemporary artist, capable of mastering the execution of a complex concept such as ambiguity on a large scale. Contrasting the colonial room, the second space is filled with natural light, vivid colors, and complex compositions. Anthony Lister describes his examinations as classical and fundamental paintings that have been painted before by painters of the past and that he is simply translating these familiar tales into a language more suited to be labeled as contemporary mythology. Portraits and sculptures of heroes and villains are displayed in a fluid fashion throughout the room, almost mimicking the melody of the piano music coming from the speaker. By applying his well-recognized patchy, gray built-up background on room walls the artist has skillfully unified the body of work. It appears as if they were part of one large canvas. Some of the large works are depicting scenarios consisting of two or more figures in combat with each other and some are portraying a single, powerful figure, let it be a hero or a villain, looking into the room. The room is dominated by large artwork featuring some of the most celebrated superheroes and well-known villains in modern history they meet on one canvas perhaps battling for dominance. In front of the canvas is placed on a plinth a bronze head sculpture of the artist himself. Exaggerated facial features, ancient-like composition, Anthony Lister's head is sat in the near center of the room, overlooking the headhunter scenery. Some could say the presence of the artist's head translates his mythological concept to a human perspective. Some that perhaps the artist perceives himself as a future mythological figure. Walking through the room, we will find randomly placed annotations on the walls, floors, and objects. Annotations leading the eye through space, almost forcing the viewer to intensely search for all of them. 
As small accents in between the canvas works are sporadically placed head sculptures, some installed directly onto the wall, some displayed on plinths, all symbolizing heads of fallen heroes and enemies taken as trophies. The artist used mixed media to create heads of familiar and unknown characters and painted those in bright colors to manifest the meaning of headhunter in an optimistic and ambiguous way. By the artist's words, as much as I want everything in life to be either right or wrong, the fact is that it is usually not as simple as that. History has shown that sometimes in life we discover that today's hero is actually tomorrow's villain. 